Hello, this guy here from Digital Puppets, and I just want to show off this brand new character that we're going to be putting onto our store. Actually, not brand new. If anyone's ever looked at some of our original cartoons that we made, you will see that this policeman was used in our Captain America parody. Anyway, um, we've got a brand new website, and we've recently updated our avatar store. Um, it is now incorporated into our website, so if you look up store, if you visit, you'll see that we've got a bunch of free puppets and we've got a bunch of puppets for sale. Um, now this, I thought there might be people out there that might like to use a police officer in their animations. Um, alternatively, you might also use this character as an educational thing because I've actually, this is quite an advanced character. It can do a lot of motion, movement, expressions. Um, it's got parallaxes in the face. So, you know, you might even just want to use it to, you know, back engineer and see how we do it. And I am going to be updating the store with some assets. So, you know, noses, hairs, clothing. This puppet is highly editable. If you go into the Photoshop file, in fact, I'll get it up right now. So if you were to go into the Photoshop file, let's just zoom in and let's just click on the face here. You will actually see that all the base elements, um, all the layers are white and then I've got... Uh, overlay color so you can actually go in and if you double click on that you can pick um, you know different skin to tone colors um, for your character and like I said we will be supplying new noses and whatnot so you'll be able to swap the noses out and swap the clothing out so you know it's a character to invest in because you can use it and update it to make more characters later on. And you don't have to just use the assets that we're going to make. Um, if you want to make your own noses or you create your own clothing or your own textures, just go into Photoshop, put them in, press save, and they'll update to here. So let's have a look at what this character can do. Right, first of all, um, I've got to pay... Well, actually, first of all, let's just turn the character motion capture on and just get a general feel for how he operates. Um, first thing you should always do is get yourself seated and then calibrate. Right, so I'm using, I mean you can use the camera input for the eyes. I particularly never use that because I always find they're kind of, because you know your eyes are just a small area and unless you're right up to the camera, you know, any tiny movement you make, the eyes are going to wobble all over the place. Might be good if you're using it on Twitch live. Personally, I prefer um, much greater control over my character. So I either use the mouse to get the character looking where I want it to. Or I might make some triggers. So I'll, you know, I'll animate the character looking in certain areas of the screen. And then I'll assign it to a keyboard. Or you can use the left and right up and down arrow on your keyboard. The reason I haven't got that for this though is that I, this character also has walking features. So if I press left and right, your character moves around. Now, I've got him walking at a pretty steady pace there, but if we were to go into walk in the behavior mode, let's find where it is, there we go. Um, speed step is currently 100%, but I could put it up to 150. Get him walking a bit faster. I mean, I can make that go up even further. And so he doesn't look like he's tippy-tapping along. When he's walking faster, we're going to want to increase the stride length. So let's turn that up to 150. So, you know, again, all editable. And that's not the only motion that the character's got embedded. I've also included, I've rigged him up for motion library. I've also got him rigged up for body. So if I could stand further enough back, which I've got quite a small office, so I can't. But if we go back enough, you can see that it will track my arms and whatnot. But that's something that you can play around with. The main reason that I've got the body behavior added is so that I can add the motion library. And let's see if we can find that. So that's him walking. Um, what else have we got? You can see that there's a lot. You've got idols, running, dancing, fighting. Let's try dance. I don't know. Uh, Hip-hop. 
Now, anyone who's ever used Motion Library before knows it's a bit hit and miss. Um, obviously, the um, actions are set up for more human proportions, um, which the character pretty much is, but at least the facio isn't perfect. So some of these sometimes don't work exactly, and also some of them aren't set up for frontal, some of them are set up for profile, and that's why you got orientation. I'm not going to go into all of that right now. If you want to know more about that, I suggest you look up OK Samurai's video all about the motion library. It's a really good tutorial that explains exactly how it works and how you can edit it. But I've added motion library just to give this character more function. But let's just turn that off at the moment. Right. Um, so those are the motions. And um, what else have I added? Um, as you can see, it's a kind of New York cup and... I thought I'd give him some aviator glasses. So all you gotta do is click that on if you want them on. Also, you know, sometimes these New York cups in the movies, they've got a bit of an attitude, they're a bit tough. So, you know, you might not want this wide cartoony um, eye as your default, in which case you can hit this one and it will give him a more kind of, you know, attitude, you know, cup with an attitude sort of look. Um, and then expressions, we've got smile, surprise, another kind of surprise really, grin, sad, suspicious, you know, people are lying to the police, annoyed, and then the character, you know, does blink, but sometimes you might, you know, when you're animating for whatever reason, you might want to drop in blinks at a certain time. So we've got a manual blink, and also when you have the manual blink, I always like to have the added eyebrow action just to make it look a little bit more advanced because when you blink normally like that it doesn't you know track the eyebrows unless you move them manually um now these expressions are just a few that i've grouped together however you will see there's quite a couple of mouths that you can use there's a couple of eyes lids and there's a lot of eyebrows. And so if you're animating in the timeline, you've got a lot of choice to drop in lots of these different things together and mix and match and make even more expressions. Um, and if you want to know more about how we use swap sets to animate in the timeline and what we do to animate quickly, I suggest you check out the tutorial section of our website because we've got a whole bunch of free tutorials that shows exactly how we work. Now, the only other thing that this character's got that I haven't shown you yet is um, a whole bunch of hand gestures. He's got draggable arms, so you can drag them around where you want them to be. Ooh, where's the drag on the hand? There you go. And also, he's got a baton, you know, he comes in contact with any criminals. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different hands there for lots of different gestures. I haven't added them in just yet, but before I put this puppet up onto the store, I am... Oh, where's that other hip? <laughs> I'll find it in a bit. I am going to also add in a bunch of pre-made arm gestures. So there's going to be a few like left and right gestures and low, mid and high double gestures ready made for you. But of course you can go in and make lows and lows yourself. And again, if you check out the tutorial section, um, I explain how to make replays with draggable arms and the assortment of different hand shapes. Right. So if you like to look at this puppet, check out our store. It's going to be on sale there. And do keep checking back because we are going to be adding more and more puppets to the store. Some of them will be for free. Some of them will be at a cost. None of them are going to be expensive. Um, if you have any questions or any requests for puppets that you think we should be selling in the store, I don't know, maybe teachers, firemen, doctor, anything like that, feel free to send us a message. Bye.